Hi, I'm Ethan Kwan, and welcome to part four. Part four of how to make a sand simulation in Scratch, 100% pen. Okay, last time we left off with a simulation that I can actually play. And there's water, sand, uh, erase, uh, stone, so, and everything interacts with each other. So, what are we gonna do this episode? This, the, well, episode. What I call it episode. This, um, I've been watching too many shows. Um, th this uh, video, we're going to be making a few tips and tricks, some tweaks, and how to add your own particles to this engine. First of all, I know most of you have, haven't have tampered with this grid size. You could have from the beginning, and it would have made, made it a lot, a lot more fun. So let's try changing it 32, and that'll make it bigger. Yeah! Okay, yeah! Okay. Um, let's just crank it down to 8. Uh, does it still... Okay, it's a bit laggier. That's fine. It's, um, yeah. But, it works! So that's the good thing. Yay! Okay. So, grid size to, say, uh, 16. 16 just for testing right now. Okay. So, the next thing I want to show you is how do you add your own particle? Okay, so let's say I want a new particle, uh, say mud. Let's add a new particle called mud to our simulation. Uh, it's actually going to be pretty, pretty simple, so uh, let's go ahead and, first of all, step one, uh, go to um, uh, this key and press. Step one, go to key and press change this number by one. So in this case, I would change it to five from four. So now it's five, it used to be four. Yeah, okay. Uh, se yeah, okay. Ste step two, um, go to render mouse, uh, duplicate an if condition, set current brush to, set current brush to four, or the next value here, and set the color you want for the mouse. So I'm gonna, since this is mud, right, I'm gonna just set this to like a kind of like brownish, gross color like that okay okay step three I think uh, step three color pixel go to co define color pixels duplicate this final if condition set this to the next number so in this case that might in my case that'd be four uh, yeah and then set the color you want so I again I want some kind of muddy gross brown color yeah okay that sounds good and stick this at the end just in case okay so that should actually that's that's a good place for testing so go to the mud yep okay i can draw with mud it doesn't do anything at the moment uh it just actually it's like it's kind of like a wall right now because i can it actually like blocks everything else but anyway so let's make the mud work step four go to um go to our simulate particles uh create a new block call it uh, whatever you want to call it, so sim simulate. In my case, it would be simulate simulate dash mud. Uh, you can call it simulate dash whatever you wh whatever your particle is. Uh, run without screen refresh. Click OK. Um, and stick that. Um, I I don't even I don't think it matters honestly. Stick it stick it anywhere you want. I'm gonna stick it in the middle because it's mud. Okay. And step five, create your simulation, create your animation, however however you want this new particle to interact with the world. Okay, so it's inside simulate mud. What I want is I kind of want it to kind of like flow really slowly. So what I'm going to do is inside this, what we're going to do is we're just going to duplicate the simulate sand air, duplicate that. Uh, actually, what I need is, first of all, go back to simulate sand, I'm going to have to duplicate this get rid of the if condition in the middle, drag this into our simulate mud, so if item I have previous grid is equal to whatever number it is, so in my case that would be 4, because this is the fourth particle I've added, so make sure that, that's very important, keep that, that's like the default, like you have to put that, or else basically. Uh, um, okay, and I think step 6, step 7, I don't know, step, um, step 6.5, um, duplicate, well, add whatever condition you want so I'm gonna just duplicate the sand simulation simulate yeah and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this right in here 
And now what it should do, it, now what I have to do is I have to go in and replace every single two with a four. So, uh, yeah, so, instead of three, I'm four. Um, so, four, four, and four, and four. Okay. So, again, good time to test. What? Yeah, okay, so now it's acting like sand. Now, great, that, that's good, okay. Now, I actually, in, uh, I actually made a mistake. I'm gonna actually change this to, instead of sand, I'm gonna change this to a water simulation. So, where's the water? The water is here, so I'm gonna duplicate this whole thing here. That, that was laggy, okay. Stick that inside our simulate mud, like that. Bam! Okay, now let's let's just test that. Oh wait, no, I have to change the values. One sec. Okay, uh, change every three into a four. So, uh, now is a good time to test. Let's see. So switch to the mud. Play. Press space. Yeah. Okay. So now it's acting like uh, water, but I don't want it to act like mud, water, or sand. I want it to be kind of in between. So what I'm gonna do is over here, I'm just gonna set the if this big if here with, uh, to make it go left and right, I'm gonna surround this in a big if, and I'm gonna say if, if pick random 1 to 20 is equal to 1, then I'm gonna move it like this. Okay, let's see if that works. Play it. Yeah, so as you can see, it, like, slowly spreads out in this case, so that's nice, that's kind of what I wanted. Uh, that's nice, okay. Uh, step seven, make it interact with other particles. Add the, uh, dispersion, or the whatever. Uh, separation with other particles. So right now, as you can see, it can actually go on above water. So if I put some water down, and I kind of want it to be below the water, but above the sand. So as you can see, it goes on top of the water, but mud is a bit heavier than water, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and... Um, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to alter the sand and the mud, so I'm gonna have to create two new blocks. One is gonna be called simulate dash uh, mud air, right? Run without screen refresh. Stick this whole thing here like that. Simulate mud air. Stick that back in there. Okay, and then next one is simulate uh, dash mud uh, and this would be water. Perfect, okay. Run without screen refresh. Okay, now simulate mud water, all we're gonna do is we are going to duplicate this whole thing, stick this underneath here, and then what we're gonna do is every single zero we see, we're gonna replace it with a three because that's our water, so three, Three. This might take a while. Three. 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 Uh, three. Three. <laughs> three. Three. And finally, three. Okay. Now, this should create another water duplication glitch. Let's see. Uh, put down some water. Let's put down some mud. That doesn't seem to be working. What if you put down water on top of the mud? Oh wait, did I, did I even put the block in? Hang on. I didn't put the block in, okay. Uh, put this here like that. Did that create another duplication glitch? Let's see. Yeah, it did, okay. Oh, we, got, we know what to do then. We just swap these here. Perfect. Let's see. Did that fix it? And, uh, okay, it's just pretty simple. I just forgot to replace these threes here. <laughs> um, you probably caught me doing that and you were like, No, Ethan, no, what are you doing? No, you forgot those. Wait, that, that will cause problems. <laughs> okay. So now that should be fixed. Let's see, so put down some mud, put down some water. Let's see, no duplication glitch. Nope, no, okay, okay, that seems fine. I, I was just testing, I was just checking with the grid list. Okay, anyway, 
So that's the mud particle thing. Oh, uh, I kind of want sand to go underneath this. Does this work so far? So does mud, um, mud, okay. Water, water, uh, sand. More mud actually, first of all, more mud here. And then sand. There we go. You know what? I'm actually fine with that. Uh, so, yes, that is fine for me so far. Anyway, uh, part step eight. Uh, there's no step eight. Yeah, you've created your new particle. Good job. Okay. So, um, you might have noticed this whole time, these are circles. You might not want circles. You might want squares. How do you make squares? Um, it... Uh, it's not, it's not too difficult. It's a bit difficult. Uh, what I'm gonna do, it, what we have to do is, first of all, since my project is so lagging, I'm gonna go to Turbo Warp and edit there, uh, cause Turbo Warp editor is a bit better than Scratch editor. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, it's less laggy here. Okay, don't mind this. It's not, yeah, it's, it's basically the same thing. Okay, so inside Render Grid, uh, let's see. So if so here, let's see. So if not item I have grid equals zero, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new block called draw square. Uh, run the green refresh, click OK. OK. So stick that in there, stick the pen up, pen down in there. Uh, draw square in the if. OK. Draw square. How do we draw a square in Scratch? Um, set the we after pen down, pen up. What we're gonna do is set the pen size to maybe half of the current pen size, right? So, let's see, what, where is it? Grid size divided by 2. Set it to grid size divided by 2. Right? And then, uh, let's see, did that, did that mess up anything? It kind of did. Let's see, go to uh, render mouse, set the pen size back to the current grid size. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, go back to draw square. Okay. Inside draw square, what are we going to do? So we're going to have to change x by negative grid size divided by 4. So, so I can do times negative 1. So grid size times divided by 4 times negative 1. Actually, I can just do grid size times divided by negative 4. Grid size divided by negative 4, and then change, let's grab, grab by change y by, duplicate this, grid size divided by 4. Okay, and then what we're going to do is pen down. This is how you draw a square. So pen down, and then change x by grid size divided by positive 2, change y by grid size divided by negative 2, change x by grid size divided by negative 2, change y by grid size divided by 2. Here's the whole algorithm, and then pen up. Okay, here here it is. Copy this if you need. I think this will that work. Means we have to change, do, grab this, change x by divide by f positive 4, negative 4, like that. So just put that at the end here. Yep, there we go. That fixes it. And yes, so now we have squares. I should, I should probably, okay. So that is how we draw a square in pen. Uh, draw square, there we go. Yeah, copy that code if you need it. Okay. Now, I'm gonna quickly make the um, mouse, I guess, a square as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate this, duplicate all of this, duplicate this from here. So starting from the set pen size to grid size divided by two, I'm just gonna stick that down here and clean up little blocks. Okay, let's see. Yep, there we go, it's a square now. Nice, okay. <laughs> that was actually really easy. So, yeah, so that's how we draw squares in pen. Nice, okay. And it works fine still. Okay, so there we go. That is how we do squares, okay. So, that is probably it for this video. I'm pro- I'm, um, maybe I'll show you how to do, like, explosions or, like, different particles or, like, acid or something later. Um, but not right now. Now we have a really basic system for a sentence simulation, 100% pen. Now, I, I just want to try something. In 
while, while, while I'm doing my outro, I just want to set the pen size to set the size of the grid to really small and see if how slow it gets. Okay. So, I just want to also see if it breaks the, breaks the squares. So, eight. See? No, it didn't break the squares. Nice. Um, okay, anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe and like the video. Uh, it means a lot to me, and I, 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 I uh, like, well, it, it does, it really does mean a lot to me, and I'm, it would be really helpful. Uh, also, I'm gonna be streaming at 900 subscribers, uh, get the number up. Uh, also, by the way, join my Discord, it's in the description, it's, it's in the description of all my videos, I think. Well, not all of them, uh, just the, just some of the coding videos. Anyway, thank you for watching, I hope you like this video. Uh, if you subscribe, that would mean a lot. Thank you for watching. See you at How to Do Silvethan. I hope you learned something. See you at How to Do Silvethan. And see you next time. That was a long outro. Bye.